not break anything. Well, <laughs> no promises. A few moments later. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. This is the home to the biggest sand dune in North America, which is insane because this park is in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by big green mountains and lush green fields. So it's crazy that there's this much sand in a place like this. From a distance, you can't really tell how big they are, but once you get closer, it's obvious that they're absolutely massive. Dad, how were they made? How sand here? So eons ago, glaciers moving through the mountain range left the pot sediment in its uh, path. But now every year when the snowfall melts and uh, gets washed down into the valley from the stream we just walked through, winds blow from the south in this sort of horseshoe shaped valley and pile it up into the great sand dunes before us. And that's why we have the largest sand dunes in North America right here. We made it to the first little mini dune. Right behind me is the parking lot. So you have to walk across flat sand for a couple hundred feet. And then you start reaching these little mini dunes. And in front of you is this. We rented these sand boards so that you can surf down the dunes. And we reached our first hill, but it's kind of steep. So let's just try it. You have to wax the board before you can go down any sand hills. And then you have to buff it out in the sand. And then you're ready to go. So after our first attempt, I think we can agree there's definitely a learning curve. And the sand is not as soft as you think sand would be either. It's like sand paper. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not hot. There's a nice breeze, but it's not like burning hot where this is unbearable. I think the hardest part is, well, physically climbing it and then also mentally believing that you can climb it because you're quite literally climbing a mountain, but instead of dirt and rockets, just a whole bunch of sand. There's a reason athletes work out on the beach because the sand has a resistance that makes walking 10 times harder. It makes you run out of breath 10 times faster. This challenge proved to be a lot harder than it first seemed to be. But after many breaks and multiple self pep talks, we made it to the top of one of the dunes. But I think for today, this is as far as we're gonna go. When you accomplish a goal, in this case, reaching the summit of the sand dune, your brain releases dopamine. Dopamine is our body's feel-good chemical. It allows us to feel pleasure, satisfaction, and motivation. When I arrived at the top of the sand dune, I experienced a rush of dopamine. 
I felt on top of the world. And as we all know, what goes up must always come down. The hard part is over. Now it's time to get back down. That is why we rented these so that it's a little more fun than just walking. On our way up the sand dune, we watched a lot of people go down with ease. So how hard could it be? I didn't wipe out. I think there's a lot of things I learned from coming here. One, I have a lot more strength in me than I originally anticipated. I'm not gonna lie to you, that hike was really hard. Lesson number two is when you commit to things, they often become successful. Like when I was trying to stand up, kept falling down on purpose because I was scared to get speed. But I realized that once I got speed, it was easier to control and a lot smoother of a landing. This adventure has literally been taking life one step at a time. When you come here, if you come here, be prepared to have the sand stick to you if you're wearing sunscreen because it is basically like glue. Woo! Ah! Whoa, that's actually a really good idea. Just put your feet out, it breaks. <laughs> 